Good afternoon to everybody and thank you for attending my presentation. My name is Herman Lenin Duarte Peña and I am presenting the work entitled An Approach Towards Supporting the Structuration of Complex Problems in System Dynamics Through a Web Application. This is a work developed at Universidad Carlos III de Madrid, mostly as part of the bachelor thesis of our student Raúl Ortiz Mazarro, with the help also of Maribel Sánchez Segura, Antonio de Amezcua, and Fuensanta Medina Dominguez. Regarding the problem statement, I must say that we have for a long time been concerned about the big difficulties that new modelers face at the moment of trying to start modeling if they don't have previous experience in the field of system dynamics or if they don't have the support of an experienced modeler to guide them. Of course, that the best way to start modeling is by being specifically trained in system dynamics or receiving formal education or training in the process of modeling. But what if such formal training is not possible? What if we just want to improve the modeling kickoff process by using a tool that helps us to think about the components of a model? Well, we have thought of a possible way to do that. We think that in such an initial phase of introduction to the understanding of a complex problem, there are ways to help new modelers so that they can be guided in such a process. We can take advantage of information technologies and facilitate to those new modelers a tool that helps in the process of identifying the elements or components of the complex system that they want to model. The web application that we have created guarantees that the process is iterative so that trial and error is not a problem but an advantage driving to learning. That several people can collaborate in the process of creating a model. That seeing while creating is related to instant feedback so that the process of learning is best approached. And finally, that exporting the information of the first draft of a potential model generates inputs to the discussion on models and to the potential decision making and any model improvements. Heather too, we have created the System Dynamics Solicitor app, which is a web application that, through a web interface, allows the users to register and to create a profile with the essential information of the user to create projects related to complex models interacting with the web application. So every model that they want to approach is a project. Every project involves the identification and the creation of all the components of a complex problem, being all these components elements of the project created. The users have the possibility to see graphically how the potential model looks like, to edit collaboratively but driven by the tool so that convergence into an acceptable model is the final step. In this phase, not only modelers, but also stakeholders related to the problem being addressed may intervene, since no previous knowledge or experience in system dynamics is needed. And finally, to export the information and be ready to move to another tool specifically aimed at, building, uh, at the building of the model. In the near future, we will make an experiment to test how efficient the System Dynamics Solicitor app is at improving the modeling kickoff process, so how useful it is for modelers and for stakeholders interacting in the process of understanding a complex problem and identifying the System Dynamics model components. However, we are open to suggestions from you who are the potential users of our app. I will finish my presentation by playing the demo of our application so that you have a general idea about how it works. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Herman. Hello everyone, my name is Raul Ortiz and I'm the programmer and designer of System Dynamics Elicitor and I'm going to show you a small example of it use. In the home page of the web application, you have the possibility to download the user manual with more details about its use. To use the application, you must be registered on it. This registration is done by filling out a form. 
Once you have an account, you can log in the application using the username and the password that you give it during the process of registration. To create a new project, you just have to click on the new button. You must give it the project a name and a description that can be optional and can be changed in the future. When the project is created, we will see it in our selection menu. To add components, you only need to fill a form. As a new component are added, the Forrester diagram will be updated automatically, so you can see the design of it. Also, each component can be edited or deleted. There is the possibility to export the information as a PDF file to have an easy way to read the project. We hope you have liked it and we are available to answer any questions you may have. Thank you very much for your attention.